In June of 2018, the sporting world was shocked by the death of young Jordan McNair, the University of Maryland football player. Joining me now is his father, Marty McNair. Marty, it was so tragic the way you lost your son, but I admired you and your family. You didn't sit around and mourn. You did something about it. As a result of your efforts, as of July 1st, 2022, a new law goes into effect in Maryland with having to do with heat stroke, athletic training, something like that. It's a horrible thing to lose your son, but man, what a legacy. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, uh, so July 1st is the uh, kickoff, well, I'm sorry, officially the Elijah Gorham Act. So since the Jordan McNair Foundation has been in motion, we've literally gotten four laws passed that from the AU level to the collegiate level of player safety. But that particular bill uh, really was in honor of Elijah Gorham. It was something that we were working Mervo. on. For Mervo. For Something we had been working on for a couple of years, and unfortunately he just happened to pass at an untimely time while we were in the legislation process. It, it's such a dangerous, violent game, but certain things can be done in advance to, to help make it a much safer game, and you guys have been at the forefront of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the big thing for us is really like player safety and, and really prevention. And really one of the things that, you know, really on the short end, we really thought it was about safety equipment as opposed to really the least common denominator with all these student athletes deaths across the nation is the emergency action plan. Either it wasn't one or there was one and it wasn't practiced. So this new law uh, in the state of Maryland will have it practiced twice a year once in the spring, at the beginning of the spring season and once again at the beginning of the fall season of sports. And what this does is this really just kind of prepares people for the emergency action plan, which is equivalent of a fire drill. Every time you walk on the field, a potential fire can happen. And the more people are educated and it's practiced, the safer our student athletes And be. I'm happy to tell you, we are following all of those guidelines today here in Harrisburg. That's yeah. got to make you feel great. Every time I'm on the field, I'm looking for all of the signs. I'm looking for uh, athletic trainers. I'm looking for the emergency tent. I'm looking for the EMTs. So, yeah, good to see all those things out here today. Now, it's good to have you here. You told me that you used to bring Jordan up here when he was a, when he was a kid. He chose not to play in a game. A lot of kids do. But, I mean, this is not your first big 33. Yeah. Jordan, this is maybe my fourth big 33. Jordan dragged me up here every year when it was at Hershey Park. Yeah. And that was what we do. That was just our day. We'd come up. Uh, you know, he usually knew somebody that was playing. And then when it was his time to play, he decided not to play. I couldn't understand it. But, yeah, good to see these kids and Team Maryland doing their thing and Team Pennsylvania doing their thing. Well, uh, thanks for being with us. Thanks for your involvement. And, and thanks for caring enough to make this sport a little bit better. Thank you. We'll be back with Governor Bob Ehrlich, the former governor of Maryland. You're watching his son play quarterback. That's all coming up here on the Big 33. Student athletes are challenged by the heat of the game, but he can end the game. Effective July 1st, Maryland public middle and high schools are required to have an emergency action plan to prevent heat-related and other injuries. Coaching staff will be required to develop, distribute, and rehearse the plan. Automate it external defibrillators and cold water immersion equipment must be accessible during games and practice. Keep student athletes safe to celebrate lifelong victory. Learn more, visit the JordanMcNairFoundation.org.